member uh, Katie Bess also had a birthday, and uh, it's today, and her family's here uh, to celebrate. So uh, let's give her a hand clap. She's faithful. She comes out to church and uh, everything, and just a really, really uh, good mother-in-law, good uh, grandmother, everything. She's just everything, but good church member here. Got saved and got baptized right here at the church, so we appreciate Katie and all of her family. There's a bunch of them back there, so... Uh, with us. So so we have the young people going to sing. I like your hat. I like that. Looks good. Thank you, young folks, for doing that. Yeah, happy anniversary to you guys. I heard a story. Uh, a, woman, a lady packed her husband's bags and told him to get out. He said, is it because I know everything? And she said, exactly. He said, I knew it. So, yeah. That ain't you, is it? <laughs> it's your turn. Sherry going to help you, Tammy? Tammy, you going to help? Where's Tammy? No? Okay, hey, Lisa. Ain't it good to be in the Lord's house today? Amen. With all the crazy stuff going on in the world, it's good to come to a safe place. You know, we don't have to worry about the daily stuff that's going on.
Ain't God good this morning? He's always good. He's good every day, night, evening. You name it, He's always good. great God. He's an almighty God. And uh, I wasn't planning on doing this, but I'm going to go ahead and sing almighty God this morning because he is an almighty God. This song is dedicated to my almighty God. When the waves of doubt come crashing in, you're my anchor in 
it's not hard to see only you can satisfy there's honey in the rock 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 freedom where the spirit is trust in your faith in God today because he will move when there is no way. I can promise you that because I have seen it in my life and I know I can point out people in here that I have heard testimonies of God moving when it seems like there is no way to move through. And I am thankful that every single day I am finding manna on the ground when I don't deserve to find that manna on the ground. But he is faithful and he is moving and he will always take care of us today. Amazes me how some of them can sing, and I sound like Barney Fife, so it's not fair. So, but anyway, we appreciate it. Appreciate the Lord. Good to have you with us today, and uh, just want to just uh, invite you back and uh, come as much as you can. Uh, this time, we'll uh, have our pastor to bring message. If you have your Bibles, we're going back to Nehemiah, Nehemiah chapter 3, Nehemiah chapter 3, beginning with verse 1.
Nehemiah, an Old Testament, chapter 3, begin the verse 1. Then Eliashib, the high priest, he rose up with his brethren the priest, and they built the sheep gate. They sanctified it and set up the doors of it, even under the tower of Mia. They sanctified it under the tower of Hananel. And next unto him builded the men of Jericho. Next to them builded Zechor, the son of Emery. Those two verses, I want to read to you there. And this subject is a the sheep gate. Of course, we've been to the book of Nehemiah here, some about Nehemiah rebuilding the walls. And how that God, uh, to give some of you a little bit past, how God is going to use Nehemiah. God has already used uh, previously King Zerubbabel. He uses him, a king. He uses as well the priest, Ezra, to establish.